This is the moment that the golf cart Aaron Castillo was driving was rear-ended. That incident led to a vicious beatdown and him sustaining multiple injuries. The alleged perpetrators are three passengers who are on the golf cart that is reportedly at fault. We spoke with Aaron Castillo about what transpired. It was me, my manager, and my co-worker. We have a company golf cart, so I asked her if I was able to quickly borrow it so I could run some errands because I had some little last-minute shopping to do for some fresh um, fruits and some crackers and stuff. So I dropped her off and started doing my errands when I found myself south of San Pedro looking for strawberries. I was on my way back where I saw somebody who works, a co-worker of my mom, and I offered her a ride. From there, we proceeded. I'm coming back into town while by LC's distributors. I was rear-ended. I have this video. I clearly show where they ran right into me. Both vehicles pulled over following the incident. And according to Castillo, that was when the men began accusing him of being in the wrong. The situation quickly escalated into a verbal altercation. We keep going back and forth. And when I told him if he may only braze the golf cart, the cart wouldn't be broken. When he would make a comment and say, but what I know about braze Batman, I could see the machismo in them. I could see where they never like that. I was standing up for myself. I had a voice. So I knew that irritated them. They came up into my space. So yes, I did push them like a Get out of my space. We don't need to do this. So I think that had them riled up. Garcia says he proceeded to the San Pedro police station to make a formal report. But due to time constraints and other commitments that he had to fulfill, he informed the officers that he would return promptly to file a report. But unfortunately for Castillo, while on his way home, he came across the same trio. They were now even more upset than they were at the scene of the mishap. They look like them in the hunt for me because the minute they laid eyes on me, it was like, in my head, they're like, well, we got you. We ain't out in this chase that they then overtake my cart, park the golf cart to block the street that I'm not able to pass. In this moment, I did panic and ask, what am I going to do? I tried to floor my golf cart and try to fly past, but that when he dragged me after my golf cart. In that moment, all I remember, punched me the troll. I did panic wrong to try to defend myself. People may they are wrong, but you know, nobody wants to intervene. It is something I have never ever experienced in my life. It is something that has me traumatized still. Castilla says he managed to make his way back to his golf cart and began driving home with the men still in pursuit. He says that while in front of his home, the suspects attacked him once again and that they were eventually warded off by a neighbor with a licensed firearm. Castillo told us that while he is not trying to make it about his sexual preference, he strongly believes that his outspokenness as a gay man under the circumstances at the scene of the traffic incident turned a fender bender into a vicious beatdown. It was a factor. I'm not going to dwell on it and say it was the, the, the full purpose, but I do think that upset them. They never liked that, that, you know, a, a homosexual man had a voice. He stood up for himself. I know they try to sexuality because like I tell people that is a pref that is a personal preference. That does not define me. That is something I don't have to give explanation about to people. That is private, you know? But for some people, it's the first thing they see. The first thing they want to pinpoint. So there and then I cut that when they try to bring that up. I was like, no, this, that, not that. We don't do this. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.